Tis the season. Sugar Buzz youngsters squirm in Santa's lap. We're even impatient to open that little box from our spouse. Little girls and boys can't wait to see what Santa mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, and grandpa got them. In short, the anticipation is agonizing. So here's the deal, kiddies. Manage your expectations. Psychologists tell us the greatest cause of stress and struggle is unmet expectation. It's what sends me off to my signature, God damn, and kids off to crying fits because they didn't get this year's Lego Ninjago limited edition lightning dragon battle. Who would think that after 77 years, Legos would still top Christmas toy list? But I'm anticipating a competent Android tablet this year for helping me with projects like this video. And Margaret's hoping for jewelry, always jewelry. This year, we're going to visit our first grandson in the UK. He'll be beautiful and quiet and peaceful, right? See how we set ourselves up? My old mentor spent the last three years of his life trying to get me to see that my expectations were the source of all my frustrations. And it came from my knower judge of rules. Give up the expectations, he'd say. Get rid of the frustration. It was that simple. I teach my clients on a regular basis to let something happen not try so hard to make something happen. I know, that flies in the face of every sales management handbook ever written. You can do it! Try harder! Well, here's the problem. Every once in a while, that works. This is the classic definition of a superstition. I wore green socks playing baseball yesterday and went four for four, so I'll wear them every game. I have one coaching client who struggled his ass off to make quota every December for 15 years. He succeeded twice, but that was enough to make him push the limits of sanity year after year until an ulcer forced his retirement. Expectations come from our rules of life. We expect people to play fair. We have a rule for that. We expect loved ones to understand us implicitly and always know what we're thinking. Got a rule for that, too. I'm expecting a Ferrari for Christmas. If I just pray harder, work harder, hint harder, I just know I can make that happen. It really comes down to a choice. We can expect and either be frustrated or gratified, or we can accept, which covers every circumstance and permits us to continue without the levels of frustration, stress, and struggle. How would it be if just for the next two weeks we eliminated expectations? Don't expect anything. Accept everything. Those around you could be in a tizzy, perhaps even muttering, God damn, well, accept it. You got the ugly Christmas sweater instead of the Ferrari? Accept it. Your son, daughter went ballistic because you didn't get them the exact model, size, and color they wanted? Accept it. And if there was ever a time when we want to reduce the levels of frustration, stress, and struggle around us, it's now. Merry Christmas from my Noah Judger upbringing. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Hmm.